Hello, can you hear me? I'm broadcasting out in my bunker. I've been invaded. My home. Everyone I loved has been murdered, dead, eaten alive. The super pigs, they've come for me. They know, they know how much bacon I've eaten in the past year. and They've had enough, all the sausages. Oh God, but they're so good. They've come for me, guys. Please. You've got to send help. I'll put my, my location in the description. I need you. I need you to come through quickly, please. Bring everything. Bazookas, RPGs, shotguns. Even bring a, bring a nerf gun if you've got one. I need all that manpower. <laughs> you can hear them at the door. They're coming. Help. Now, that was my audition for acting. Uh, my voice, my portrayal. I hope you really liked it. All seriousness, I'm currently locked in a bunker at the bottom of my garden. I had specifically made for a nuclear holocaust, thinking that was coming next week at the time. Obviously, it's not. Yeah. However, I knew it one day it would come in hand, and today it has. As you can read on your screen, super pigs, so not superman, super pigs in Canada are crossing the border into the United States. They have come armed with machine guns, machetes, every gun under the sun. Apparently, they've been playing and watching a lot of GTA in their past time, and they understand how to use weapons. Read this. A swelling population of feral super pigs in Canada is threatening to spread across the border into the northern US states. <laughs> God, they're already here. It's lies. It's fake media. I can tell you they're outside right now. They're mugging here. Please. Everyone I've ever loved is dead. No one you love around. I just need, I just need some more, some more food. I want to kill one of them, but I wonder, like, if I kill one of them, maybe they'll get more aggressive and start, like, shitting on my lawn, you know? I don't, just can't. I can't, guys. All seriousness, the threat level. Straits to the state, including Minnesota, Mon Montana, Montana, are taking preventative measures in case. Well, they're too late. They should have put the goddamn sentry guns out moments ago, because I can tell you now, it's far too late. The war is here. The pigs versus the... The, man. the hogs population has exploded in the size in Canada prairies as they pose to threat native wildlife. They've increased by 9% in a year. They love sex. The US is it's grappling a feral swine problem. See, I mean, I know I've eaten a lot of pigs. Bacon. Oh, bacon and egg sandwich. Oh, my God. It gets my nipples twisted. Sausages. Oh, my God. Me and my nan love a sausage. You need help. You need professional help. There are 9 million hogs that can carry parasites. I mean, it's just a terrible situation to be in. They're carrying diseases, they're breathing on my lawn, and they are trying to eat me alive. Trust me, I've seen it happen to my brother, my cousins, everyone. They got nibbled, they thought they were friendly, went up to stroke them, and now they're missing an arm. All right, it's dangerous. Do not go outside. Batter down the hatches. Engage your defenses. Get these man some tins of sausages. Please get me some sausages, just so I can eat it in front of them and tell them that I will win. You will not break down into my nuclear bunker. This is meant to build contact a nuclear bomb, missiles, you know, from Vladimir, from China, whoever's gassing it up, bruh, whoever's got the big bollock dollocks is gonna get absolutely embarrassed when I live and I am able to come out onto the thing and see, like, giant cockroaches and shit. But let's, uh, let's just check out a vid. An exploding population of so-called super pigs in the prairies has U.S. officials raising alarms over their possible migration south. That's right, the wild pigs have caused havoc in Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba since 2001 when the market for wild boar collapsed, prompting frustrated farmers to set the animals free. They're not native to North America. However, they threaten native species and cost billions in damage to agricultural crops. Billions in damage. I can tell you now they've shat all over my lord, killed family members. My brother's in the corner here. Armless. I'm going to have to pay, pay for bloody health insurance, get him a robotic arm. I'm not even sure if they're a thing anymore. These dirty little pigs are causing havoc. <laughs> They attacked my dog, I managed to save him. Fortunately, lost a toenail in the process, but we, I managed to save the dog, that's all that matters. But these dirty little herbert, these boars are attacking us. I mean, firstly, who eats a boar? No wonder they went out of fashion, but just, you know, give him an island. We've got to negotiate with these terrorists. I say give him Madagascar. I know technically the Americans don't own it, but that's not stopped them in the past. <gasps> Throw them all on Madagascar, let them have their own island, let them build a community, and hope nothing like Planet of the Apes starts happening when they start talking, they start giving impromptu uh, conversation, and then suddenly you go, Rrr! Caesar does not fight human. Human fight Caesar. We just don't want that to happen. Minnesota, North Dakota, and Montana now say they are taking steps to stop what is being called a possible invasion. A possible invasion? It's already happened, mate. I'm here, strapped to with me AK-47. Little, you know, I'm running out of ammunition here. There's thousands of them. I've not got much left. The ceiling's starting to leak with piss. They've been here for so long. And raising and transporting the animal while other states are ramping up monitoring efforts along the US-Canada border.
bloody Canadians. That's what I blame. Canadian people. What have you been doing? Eat more boards. You eat everything else up there. Have you been speaking Francais to the birds? Hello, my friend. Would you like to be friends? We do not eat, uh, we do not eat the, uh, the boar. We only need snails. I'm sorry, that was very racist and probably a bit sexist. So as you can see, we are grappling with a huge situation here. I know there are many problems in the universe right now. Famine, a couple wars. No big deal. What else is there? No, it's raining a lot where I live at the moment. Not great, you know what I mean? I mean, at least I don't have to water the plants. Just means I can't go outside much. But I mean, this is the serious thing. This is the biggest threat humans have ever faced in their entire universe galaxy life, okay? It is unacceptable and it is seriously, seriously causing havoc. Not only do we have to watch where we stand because of bullshit. We also have to now watch where we go. These guys, it's only a matter of time before the so-called super pigs start speaking English, start negotiating, start bartering, and let's be honest, the Americans are going to start sending them money soon, because they feel bad for them. I mean, it's just outrageous. So what is the solution here? I mean, you've got these big birthers, these absolute ginormous freaks of nature coming and invading our land. I say we take it back to them. We'll find where they live, burn down the forest, take it to their heart, find their leader, cut the head off the snake and the body falls. You've heard the saying, we all know it. We must find the man with the crown, or in this case, the boar with the crown. There's always a leader, there's always someone at the top pulling the strings, an evil Nazi boar who is controlling and manipulating these poor individuals. They don't know what they're doing, they're being told to invade and shit on our property. I didn't want to have to kill them, I didn't want to have to shoot them with my AK-47. I love it. Actually, my two RPG bullets are found on the sofa. I didn't want to have to do it. And look where that's gotten me. I'm hiding, I'm cowering in my own room. I had to put borders up because they started chewing at the wood. These guys are hungry for humans, starving. They've been treated, they've been outcast from society, and they are fighting back. They're attacking wild animals. Our poor dogs and pussy cats won't be able to survive. They're dirty, but at least they taste good. What I would suggest, we've got to negotiate with the terrorists. Find out where they live, who is their leader, find their home, negotiate. If they want to invade, America, I say we give it to them. I'm happy. Just give them America. All right, let them live there. You can take it. We'll build a wall along Canada. We'll see how the Americans like it. Once we build a wall, there's no stopping us, is there? As we can see, not a fence. I mean, like the Great China Wall. We'll put no boars, big faces. We'll give them the land and say, you guys go ham. You guys live here. We don't mind, all right? We don't mind. Unfortunately, the hardest choices require the strongest will. The Americans are just going to have to be sacrificed, okay? It's unfortunate. I know I said I live there, but obviously I don't. These guys have invaded my home elsewhere. Uh, just go along with it. And it is is really coming a problem. Let us together build a better future. Let us together fight back against the patriarchy. These pigs, these boars, whatever creatures they are, whatever they are, they deserve to be in my bacon sandwich. As soon as they are, we'll be happy days. Please, if you're listening, send help. Leave a like and a comment. That will m give me ammo and more possibility to shoot these guys, all right? I'm, I'm not lying, all right? It's it's real. It's a real system they have in America. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I need help fighting back the patriarchy, fighting back these so-called terrorists, these Sovar scientists. We must fight back against the demons. Together, we shall defeat this enemy. All seriousness, yeah, they're invading. Look after yourselves, arm up, get your tins ready, and uh, yeah, good luck to you in the war. And remember, I tried warning you guys.